What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here. My name's Luke, and in this video you'll notice that there is currently no heads up display, or my HUD is disabled. If you don't know what a HUD or heads up display is, it's the overlaid information on your viewing area that contains your mini map, your action skill plus your health and uh, ammo values, your shield values, and your class mod and skill tray. And this can actually be disabled on the PC version by using console commands. In this case, we're typing toggle, H-U-D. It's not case sensitive, so don't worry about that. Now, in able to access the console tab, you will have to make some slight changes to your INI files. And in the first link of, or the first line rather, of the description, I will leave a link to a post made by a Gearbox employee named Botman on the Gearbox forums that will give you a clear and concise plus easy, easy to follow guide on how to make these changes to your INI files. He's done a good job and he lays it out pretty easy. If you guys have any questions though, go ahead and leave them in the comments and I'll try to you know answer any of those questions that you might have on enabling these console tabs within the INI files. Basically what you do is you just add a key assigned to the console tab and then you can press that key and access these functions. What I'm going to do here is kill Pete with the HUD off. And this is one of the benefits to possibly turning your HUD off is to give you a little bit different experience in part of the game. For example, a boss fight in this situation. So things that are different about this from normally fighting Pete is that I don't know my ammo count or Pete's health count. And plus, it was definitely a lot harder to pick up my Chaotic Neutral Rogue Calm off the floor. I didn't anticipate that, but, you know, since I couldn't really see the press X to pick up now, um, it made it a little bit harder to pick it up. And I definitely wanted to go ahead and equip that because it boosts my fire rate by quite a bit. Another thing I can't see is my Critical Ascension stacks. So I don't know relatively how well I'm doing with my Critical Stacking because I can't tell... Uh, the ammo I've spent to the stat count I have and that's usually something that I watch while I'm doing this type of uh, critical ascension killing. Another thing I didn't know for this fight is when Pete's shield was depleted. So I had to, you know, rely on my knowledge and, uh, you know, practice doing this to know when his shield would be close to depleting so that I could definitely be close to that scaffolding at that time so that I wouldn't catch the damage over time. Obviously, another benefit to turning off the HUD is that you will take much better screenshots. Borderlands 2 isn't an incredibly realistic looking game, however it does still have an aesthetically pleasing art style and everything, and I noticed a lot of screenshots get taken of Borderlands 2, and most of those have the heads up display enabled. Obviously disabling the heads up display will make for a better screenshot in almost all cases, unless you're trying to take like a contextual screenshot to you know, show what kind of damage was happening or something. But that's a different case. Most times people are taking screenshots just for aesthetics and kind of showing what a pretty part of the game looks like. Ordinarily, at least. So, uh, again, guys, to do this, I am typing toggle, H-U-D, into the console tab, and that will allow me to either enable or disable my HUD. It's pretty cool and pretty slick. Uh, some problems with it, though are that you need to have the HUD enabled in order to access your inventory screen. And anytime you are put into Fight for Your Life, HUD or Heads Up Display is automatically re-enabled. So I'd like to thank you guys very much for watching, as always. And if you haven't yet, please take the time to subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Otherwise, I do hope to catch you next time, guys. And like I said, uh, be sure to check the first line of the description for the link on the guide on how to make these changes to your INI files in order to allow access to the console tab and commands such as disabling the HUD. Again guys, I hope to catch you next time. Bye guys.